What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have a really cool account tune-up. Uh, this one is for Langard, so Langard is literally going for 100% PvE, not caring a single thought about PvP, and man, is this actually enjoyable to talk about a straight PvE account for once. So hopefully, if it's something you guys are doing as well, you can pick up some tips from this one. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> This one here is for Langard. So we got tons of profit orbs. We're saving for an event. One thing you did mention, you were hoping to use them at Chinese New Year, but we don't know. We don't know if Chinese New Year is going to have a second week of profit orb event or if it's just going to be a two week heroic scroll event. They've done that in the past. So fair warning has been done. Oh man, you can sell these anniversary badges off if you want. But then again, you are a collector. I'm surprised you haven't sold all but one of everything. Just to have like the one collection. I always like seeing that. So, Inosuke, we got, ooh, we got lots of nine-star dummies. That's pretty good. So, Langard, if you want to talk to me in uh, in Discord, that's good as well. Uh, we have like a little bit of all different hero copies, but not a ton of any. Besides that, Rogan. Let's take a look at the heroes. Interesting. So, you did say you are going for like a PvE-style team. Not horrible. I mean... Of course, my first my first thing to say here is you just need to be going for an Ithaca. <laughs> like, I know you don't have any Ithaca copies. I know it doesn't look like it's thing. But if you're going for PvE, you need to get this girl leveled up right here. That girl needs to get leveled up. E4 Heart Watcher. Hey, it's perfectly fine. We're talking about a full-on PvE account. That's That's fine. You want a strong PvE hero. Now, if you're talking PvE, 4Cs, eh, not the best big, best bet. Tix is good, though, because, I mean, if you consider Aspen Dungeon PvE, because it kind of is, kind of isn't, just depends on what your definition of PvE is, uh, Tix will definitely help you out. Oh, wow, you have more 9 stars in the bag. Wow, okay, okay. Um, let's take a look. Let's, Horus, building a tanky Horus, that's fine. I mean, that's decent. Attack HP. Definitely find a stone that has block. Block is going to be one of the most important stats for you. Even in PvE, you want block on your horse. You want to get his block up over 100% and the stone will do it for you. So try to find, if you're going, actually, you know, if you're going straight on PvE, go for like a block attack. I know block HP is probably better for sea land, but block attack will get it done just fine. Um, let's check your sea land for shadow. 11 of tw or 12 of 20. Interesting, interesting. You have a ticks there, another ticks there. It would have been better to save those ticks as baby ticks. So one thing you need to do, Langard, is of course, do not build this ticks any further right now. My sea land is horrific, he says. It's all good, man. We that's what that's what we're here for. So what you need to do is you got this horse in a good spot, but you do, you do need to get a block HP at the very least or block attack stone right here. Uh, as far as enabling goes, I would probably run something like this on him right here. Do that. If you need more attack, of course, swap out to those attack nodes instead. You have an upgraded skin, which is great. But yeah, you need to get the right stone. And then what you need to do is don't do this. Don't don't keep leveling him up. You need to find yourself three more five star ticks. If you can do that, you can get sea land 20 done most likely with this horse and those ticks, which is going to be good. As far as fortress goes, yeah, there's no hope. <laughs> there's no hope for fortress sea land with uh with a segment. Of course, he's going to be a little tanky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really what you should be doing. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where where was that artifact? This needs to come off. This needs to come over here. This needs to come over to here, like that. Sigmund Stone, attack HP, that's fine. Speed, I mean, if, and, <sighs> speed on him is kind of a useless stat in my opinion. I would definitely do something more along those lines, getting more attack. I mean, if you're talking straight up PvE, if that's all you care about, you don't care about PvP, you're probably going to want to run this right here. 
that's your setup for pve sigmund can do really good in pve as well still especially with that armor stripping that he has um i'm only doing pvc yeah if you don't care about pvp i'm gonna set your team up the way it really should be looking here and in reality if you're only doing pve i mean you don't even need these damage reduction artifacts getting more attack oriented ones can be better uh, but of course, it does look like your Delacium has your big one. For the stone, you need to try to reroll for either crit, crit attack or holy attack attack or something along those lines. Enables need to look like this right here. You have two antlers. Oh, okay. All right. Heart Watcher has one. Okay, yeah. Heart Watcher, you need to lose that antlers cane. <laughs> That's the first thing that's going to happen. And uh, I would actually run it on the Sigmund. Sigmund can do some really, really good damage in PvE. Um, enables, I mean, if, again, if we're talking straight up PvE, this right here is what you should be running. And even on the Horus, since he can break out of CC, if you're talking straight PvE, Shared Fate is going to be a really, really good one for him as well. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what you're going to want to run there. Uh, you can put your void imprint uh, resources, your stellar shards into your Delacium. It's going to give the best bang for your buck. Now, the the one part about PvE, Ada is going to be very, very, very poor choice for PvE. She is not good at PvE whatsoever, although she will help you get Aspen Dungeon done. One thing this account does need is to get to death one. It shouldn't be too hard with this account. Honestly, um... Using the Ada to carry you most of the way should do it just fine. The Ada, you should be running with a tanky artifact as well. Something along those lines. The stone, I would find an HP HP. Uh, actually, yeah, no speed stone. So get an HP HP, an attack HP, or an HP heal effect stone. And this Ada is going to serve you very well. Um, as far as PvE goes for aspen dungeon this is the only she's only going to be used for aspen dungeon i would run her like this with the setups um you know in reality what you really should be doing as well give me this gear we're gonna do a little swaparoo here you should oh man you have okay you got the weapon so we'll do that what you should be doing with your ada is running a 2-2 split gear setup right here. Uh, that's good. But again, get a different stone. You need a more uh, HP-oriented stone, and you'll be in a good spot. <clears throat> Heart Watcher, honestly, probably throw on another plate of Kray. Just get it upgraded with all these artifacts here. Just feed them all off. Or actually, you already have tons of dust. Probably just do this real quick. This needs to happen. Get her some damage reduction. I mean, this account will be great with these. Or there's another option you can do if you don't want this plate of courageous on her. Uh, there's one other thing that you can do that's going to help out a ton. And that is you can also, in an alternate scenario, run this right here. You're also going to want split gear just to give her more HP, keep her alive longer. HP, HP stone is fine. But there's one synergy that you have because you have your Delacium. If you run energy, you will do her active in round one, which means she'll add that 25% attack reduction on both the targets in PvE. That will synergize with the Lacium's um, replication. Where is it? Is it this one? When the round ends, replicates three random dot or attribute debuffs to another enemy. This means your team will become even more tanky and live longer if you run her with an energy artifact because, of course, that'll start stacking up faster. And then your team will just be taking one damage every single turn. So the next project. Well, I mean, if you have the Ada copy, I would say just finish her off to E5. That's going to be the next thing you want to do. It doesn't look like you have one. doesn't look like you have a chest. But Ada to E5, just so you can get to death one in Aspen Dungeon. From there, you're still a long way from getting to death 50, death 100. You're going to need that ticks. But again... Don't build that ticks just yet. Don't, don't, don't build that ticks just yet until you get C land 20 done. Uh, yeah, that split gear setup, huh? <laughs> that split gear setup, good catch. <laughs> that should be the setup right there. Split gear, a two piece, a two piece. That's going to be the best bang for your buck. Give you the most HP bonuses. 
Good catch there. Good catch there. <laughs> and then, of course, split gear setup, give her the HP. After that, though, keep building up four Cs as you can get another six star. Next light hero, again, you're, you're a long ways off. Russell would be a great one for PvE if that's what you that's what you care about. Uh, but again, this account should be able to get to death one pretty easily, honestly. It's just knowing what waves to throw heroes against. Um, Delacium, again, most of this comes down to just upgrading your stone setup and then running your heroes properly. One hero that's not going to do good in Aspen Dungeon is the, uh, the Sigma. He's not going to do great. He can help you on some waves, so definitely leave him in your lineup. Is it better to go for Penny instead of Sigma? No, no. If you're going PvE and you don't have an Ithaqua, going for this Sigma is going to be great. Uh, you do have the Phoenix maxed out, which is perfect, which means you do want to keep your Sigma on your lineup. It looks good. What you got is doing good. Of course, if you want PvE, start working on a second Delacium as well. Second Delacium is going to be huge for this account. But again... This girl right here is not very useful for PvE. She is she's going to be 100% only for Asm Dungeon on your account. She does not do PvE damage, but the rest of your heroes are pretty good. So if you have any other questions, let me know. There's a lot of stuff to go over. I'll put this on YouTube as well so you can go back and listen because I know I go over stuff kind of quick sometimes. I go over it kind of quick. So if you do have any questions, hit me up on Discord. We'll try to get them addressed. As probably the last thing I didn't talk about was artifacts um make sure you're only using these artifacts for what you need which is of course pay to win artifacts uh russell would be a better light for yeah L russell would definitely be a better option in the light faction than ada if you're purely just i want pve russell is a very high pve damage dealer but even at that using ada's food down the road for like another delacium or an ithaqua or something like that is going to be much much better Oh, we got another gifted sub to Potato Gaming 222. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Stun. Uh, but yeah, you got tons of food. The problem is you don't have copies. Best way to get copies, make sure you get one from Imps Adventure. Make sure you're saving up for a quad loop of a Profit Orb event. Really, there's no, there's no great heroes for your PV, PvE team right now. Wait and see what the next Profit Orb event is. Send me a message on Discord. And we'll try to find a Profit Orb event for you to do a quad loop in. That's going to give you four of a hero that you really need for PvE. So let me know if you need any other help. But it's kind of refreshing jumping on an account that just doesn't care about PvP. And just wants to do as good as they can in PvE. Because you get to see these really cool heroes like Sigmund. That nobody builds anymore. So hopefully that helped you out. Let me know if you need anything else.